Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to turn your webcam into a Wi-Fi camera using online software. Now note this is only for viewing in your house. You can, you can view it outside your house, it's just a very complicated process that I will not be demonstrating. So let's get right to it. So first you're going to want to go to your browser and then type in Yawcam and go to yawcam.com. Now you're either going to want to click download or just go to their website and you can just hit download right here. Now I already have it so I'm not going to have to download it but you will click this link and it will take you to an installing wizard. So that's that. Okay so once you have your Yawcam installed, um, click on it. It takes a while to boot up depending on how fast your computer is. Now right now I'm not connected to a webcam but you would go to your preview. You don't have to do that. It, w it should pop up right away if you're a first user. And um, you're going to want to go to settings and then device change to and then uh, if you have a webcam plugged in it should have that there. Right now I'm just going to use no device but what you're going to want to do is go to HTTP, FTP and stream. Once you have all those oh no wait not FTP go ahead. Uh, once you have those you're going to want to um, go to settings edit settings and there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can play around here you can uh, go to scheduler where you can enable it and then schedule what time you want your camera to record announcements basically uh, it'll just give you an announcement not a hundred percent sure of what it does but you can go username and password uh... your offline image you can also change username and password is really helpful if somebody does see and you don't want them getting onto your account and looking into your stuff and um... startup you can click start http and start stream i also use motion detection because it's really helpful um, so you are going to want to go to uh, HTTP and so basically what you want to do is type in what comes up here so for me it's 192.168.10.148 and then I'm um, colon 8888 you don't want the 8888 it'll say that there but um, you want to go to stream 8081 is my number so you would go to HTTP and instead of typing all of this into the browser type in that stop there and then type in 8081 or whatever yours is so once you're done that you can view that on your browser on your phone you can even create a desktop icon if you want on your phone not desktop like a main icon so once you do that you can basically monitor through that motion detection is actually really helpful too so I'll demonstrate that basically it gives you a history of what has been happening inside of your room it'll take you can set it to like take a picture every single time something that it detects motion in your room you can also clear your history if you want it usually just gives you an overlay every time it senses motion you can also set actions to send email and play a sound when it does do that you can also save it and upload it you can also set the area of what you want motion detection so if you only wanted it at your door and not anywhere else like if you were putting it at your door and it saw somebody walking on the street it would take a picture but if you only set, set it to your front step then 
it would actually be more defined. You can also increase the sensitivity and the mark color because this usually like gives an outline of static. And you can actually show image if you want. So that's really super super helpful. Now once you have all that, basically you can go to your phone or iPod or anything that you have, type in that URL and then it should take you directly to Yawcam and then you'll type in your password username if you have it you don't need it and then it'll, uh, if you don't have it it'll just take you directly to your security camera another note is that you have to have your laptop running or your computer running for this um, to work like you can't even put it on sleep mode, it doesn't work. You have to have it running 24-7. Like, it can go into sleep mode by itself, but if you actually go to, like, your start button and click sleep mode, it won't work. So, yeah, that is basically um, it. If you want to grab your webcam and turn into a Wi-Fi camera, because I know those cost, like, a lot of money, like, almost 100 to 200 bucks they can get pretty pricey. This is pretty cheap at the cost of your computer running all the time. See you next time.